Hi, Chris German here again. Um, the latest update on our uh, seizure vessels, Bridgeport, all that kinds of thing. Uh, I thought I'd do a follow-up because today just something happened out. You know, <laughs> you, you got to just shake your head because otherwise you'd, you'd pack up and you'd move to, to, to Europe. Uh, I, I was in the, the, the court and uh, I filed a motion to reconsider on the judge's order. Now, on the other day, the judge ordered, and I'll read it to you. Uh, here it is. Uh, the attempted appearance filed on behalf of the plaintiff corporation is improper and is hereby stricken, sua sponte, don't know what that means, by the court. The application is denied without prejudice and may be refiled by the plaintiff through counsel. Judicial notice was sent regarding this order. Uh, okay. Apparently, in Connecticut state law, you have to have a lawyer. You you cannot go to court as a corporation, even if you are a struggling 501c3 charity. You're not allowed to go to court unless you have a lawyer. Justice is not yours unless you have a lawyer uh, if you're a corporation. Um, okay, and it makes sense, I guess, if you're a Greenwich hedge fund, but does it make as much sense if you are a charity that has exactly $10 in your bank account and you're struggling to provide inner city children with access to Long Island Sound? I don't think it made as much sense, and I don't think the judge fully understood that, so I decided I would write a motion to reconsider. Uh, that was the advice that we got from several of our friends. They said, you know, tr try to get them to reconsider. Tell the judge what's going on, and maybe she'll reconsider the notion. So I put together the motion. I brought it in there two days ago, and I showed up there this morning and asked them, what's the story on the, the, the ruling from the judge? I haven't heard anything. And they said, oh, you're the guy with the boating thing. Uh, that's that's my new name. I'm always the guy with the boating thing. Uh, but in any case, the guy with the boating thing apparently has no right to represent Connecticut community boating uh, because of this rule. And the clerk decided that my motion to reconsider, my request to ask the judge if she would change her mind on that, had no merits. And I was not allowed to even talk to the judge. She, she took my, um, after I left the office, she had actually taken it, put it in an envelope, was going to mail it back to me because she didn't want me to waste my time in trying to protect CCB. Uh, I thought that was very decent of her, don't you? Yeah, that's sarcasm. In any case, I met a much nicer guy today in the court's office, and he has said, you know, print it out again, bring it back down again, I'll submit it to the judge, and at least let the judge see it. Because, you know, if we win, if we lose, either way, uh, you know, we have to try, because this is just so illegal. The city has no right to come in and take our fleet, take our boats. They're using the excuse that our insurance is invalid. They're using the excuse that, you know, our access agreement is no longer valid and that the violations that the DEP spuriously stuck on us after the city complained about us, uh, those things are, are, are the reason why they have to kick us out of Bridgeport and they have to take all of our assets and give us a bill for the privilege of taking our assets. Now, we have a 20-ton boathouse there, okay? It's a 10-ton concrete dock and another 10-ton boathouse. So if they do decide to take that, it's going to be a massive expense to taxpayers to haul that thing out of the water. And quite frankly, CCB is broke. So if the city decides to take that boathouse, uh, we're not going to be able to pay them. Even if we wanted to, we're not going to be able to pay them. So who's going to get hit with that bill? The taxpayers are going to get hit with that bill because the city doesn't mind spending taxpayer dollars, even for personal vendettas from a mayor who clearly doesn't like me. And this is all personal at the end of it. But that's that's all beside the point. I have done my rail for today, and uh, I'm really sorry that I have to keep bothering you guys, but we need your help. We need a lawyer. We need somebody to stop these injustices. Connecticut is a bastion of injustices, and we are working to fix that. I'm, 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 I'm imploring you, please, if you know a lawyer, give him a call. Explain the situation to him. If you can call the newspaper, call Channel 8, call Channel 30, call Channel 3, call Channel 12, call them and tell them we need to get the word out about this. We we need to find some ears on a lawyer who believes that justice is alive and well in the state and they're willing to fight for it because the courts are saying, you know what, kid, you're not allowed to fight for it. You have to get a lawyer, which is $5,000 to get a lawyer and $400 an hour after that. So uh, again, please log on to our website, www.ctcommunityboating.org. There is a, um, a Donate Now link on there. You can just press the Donate Now link. It's through PayPal. It's completely secure. Uh, you can put, specify any amount that you want, a $5 donation 
donation, a $50 donation, or a $5,000 donation is fine with us. Um, but if you can't afford to do that, and we know everybody's struggling right now to even pay their electric bill, let alone make contributions to charities like CCP, uh, at least what you could do, please, is tell your friends, share these videos, and tell the world what's going on. Because Connecticut is a state that I love. City Bridgeport is a city that I love. And I refuse, as a taxpayer resident and longtime supporter of this state, to allow these injustices to continue and give our state a black eye. So please help me fix it. Uh, thank you. This is Chris German signing off and I'll be back when we find the next event, which is the soap opera, which is the state of Connecticut and the city of Bridgeport. Thank you.